So, Mike, today is Valentine's Day. Yes, and we are on our way to our big bulk vessel. We are still arrested in Malmö. Yes, not feeling a whole lot of love from the city of Malmö. No, no. And, and um, probably a good thing for us to talk about, just to record, mm -hmm. is why is the vessel detained? Yes, there are some. And actually, it came formal yesterday that also the kitchen wasn't that good in good condition. And they had food that wasn't uh, properly uh, uh, stored. So there was quite a lot of, yeah, how do you say that? Issues. Issues, yes. Issues that on. had to be addressed. Yes. Because, uh, I mean, Malmö, in terms of, of uh, detaining this vessel, isn't just being capricious. They, they are insisting on a certain um, standard of, of, um, of functionality for the boat before the boat will be released. Yes. That's yes. essentially what it's about. Yes. So it is standard practice that vessels that are uh, that come into the harbour are inspected. Yes. And in this instance, they didn't pass the inspection. Exactly. So so now they are detained. But there's two factors that really go into this, aren't there? The one factor is that you have a company who is responsible for a vessel and clearly the upkeep on the vessel has not been satisfactory. Yes. But the second aspect of that is that you have a crew that is now stuck on that vessel. Yes. How and do we respond? Yes. So what we did yesterday, we bought them some cake and some chocolate and uh, gave them some internet, Wi-Fi. And I think that is a really good thing for the crew that they feel that that's not all bad in Malmö. That's actually people that are, are thinking about them and caring for them. So I think, Mike, the good thing for us to remember here as we speak about the vessel uh, in, uh, that we are talking about is that no law has been broken. No. no. So because no law has been broken, there is no restriction on the seafarers coming off the vessel. No, oh, that's not the problem. The problem is that there's so much work to be done on the vessel that these people, I mean, when we met with them yesterday, they told us that it was now standard for them to be doing 14 or 16 hours work a day just to try to get the vessel up to the standards required. Yeah, yeah, to repair and to maintain what have been uh, yeah, forgotten or whatever. And the thing was that I had an inspection in Portugal before they came here, and there there were no problem. So we don't know what the inspector did in Portugal or what he didn't see or what he didn't do. But clearly there was some fault on this vessel, and it had to be acknowledged and it has to be fixed. And it could be that the standards are different that are required in the different countries. Yes. Um, and we see that quite uh, commonly in Malmö by people sailing under different flags. Yeah. Because the regulations around the world differ. Yeah, I mean, you have one IMO commission which everybody had to follow. Uh, but then again, there is some who goes under the radar for a while as this vessel. This <coughs> is a vessel that is over 20 years old and you can see that the maintenance on board is maybe not the highest priority. The The color on the vessel is, yeah, it's most rust and so, so you can see it. But I mean, we have seen that on many vessels before that the, 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 you can't see on the color on the vessel the maintenance inside because inside is totally different from the outside and those kind of vessel is is on low uh, value shipment so they don't have so much economy in this yeah. type of cargo which means they don't care so much about uh, the 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 outside of the vessel so to speak 
but still, in this case, also the security on board was uh, at fault, and and that was that has to be uh, recognized and to be fixed before they can leave. So when you're talking about the security on board, you're not talking about a threat of them being attacked or something like that. You're talking about the safety of the vessel. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if it's uh, the fire extinguisher not working or yeah. or. Uh, uh, I think I heard something about the, the equipment on board wasn't in uh, the right condition. So, yeah. So, I mean, there's, there's, there's two things that we really can highlight from this vessel. Um, the one is that when we have a vessel like this detained in the port, it's not because the port authorities are capricious. It's because there's a genuine concern for the seafarers. Yes. And that, that from that perspective, there is an insistence on a certain standard. Yes. That the boats must be maintained. Yes. And that is good news. Yeah, because it's a safety for the vessels. It's and a it's safety a, for the vessels. Yeah. And, and I mean, all countries who have uh, ports have authorities and have inspectors to go and visit the vessel but I mean we know that uh, all vessels coming to Sweden don't get investigation because it's not how it's worked. Uh, you take a few vessels a year and uh, and mostly you just take we take this vessel so it's, it's actually not that they choose a vessel it's just they take a slump how do you say that slump Scrappy vessels. No. No. Roll the dice. Oh, so you take a chance. Yeah, they take a chance on uh, the vessels. Yeah. But it's it's likely that the older vessels will be inspected first. Yeah, but you know, it's it depends on also. And then you have, in Sweden, for example, we have the Coast Guard. They do their inspections. Yeah. And then we have the... The union who also do the inspection, and actually yesterday the union was on board to do the inspection about the the welfare of the seafarers, and and then again you have the authority that have the inspection for the whole the, the safety, and and then you had also we when they came to Malmo, we uh, they already had the inspector from India on the vessel to do his job to inspect the vessel. So there is actually there have been three investigation on the same time, two from Sweden and one from India. And then the, the second aspect that we highlight is you get us. Yes. The uh, Seafarers Chaplaincy and the Seafarers Club. Yes. And our job is not to inspect anybody. No. But to look after the welfare of the seafarers. Yes. And that we do. Yeah. That we do. Every day. And uh, yesterday it was through providing internet to the seafarers. Yeah. Because they have no ability. They have absolutely no ability to to um, contact their families adequately. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and they're just something to make them feel special. Yeah. So, we carry on. We carry on. Here we go.